Hello and welcome, my name is Parkin, today we're playing some more... Banished. <laughs> God, it'd help if I could remember the name of the bloody game, wouldn't it? Okay, so last time we managed to get quite a bit done in the village. We managed to get a nice sort of little town villagey centre set up, including a fishing post. We got um, some gatherer rubbish over here. In fact, before this starts, uh, can I... I'm just going to cancel this because it's a few things... Oh no, that's cancel removal. There's a few things that I would like to change about my plan. This is all based purely on your suggestions, so I don't even know if they're valid or not, but I'm just going to go with it because I don't really know much about this game. However, it seems like we're doing well. So my plan today is basically we need to collect a lot of wood first, obviously, and then we also need to start building some more houses and other stuff. We don't need to build houses, but I'd like to. Now, my sort of general plan for this game is to build lots of little settlements, I think. At least I'd like to do that. Um, I'd like to get sort of the main one established on this place, have bridges going across everywhere, and then like little villages on the outskirts. Perhaps having uh, the villages on the outskirts being the ones that provide all the food, so like farming little villages. I like that idea anyway. Right, okay, what's your problem? Doesn't that mean... Does that mean that they need tools or something? Oh, bloody can't remember anything. Right, okay, well anyway, we <laughs> we need to chop down some more trees, and that's definitely one thing. So let's harvest some trees, we'll harvest all of this lot, and we will also get them to collect some stone. Stored firewood. Actually, no, I've got loads of wood, what am I on about? Stored logs? Oh, but that's firewood. Right, okay, stored food, we're fine on the food. Yeah, stone is a problem. So let's get some stone going. Now there's a few suggestions that people made last episode as well, which was basically to uh, relocate my... what's it called? Let's just find the name of it so I don't screw it up. We need to relocate the Forester Lodge because basically what happens is if, if you set it too close to the Gatherer's Place, the Herbalist or whatever the one later on in the game is called, they collect things from old trees. And obviously, if you've put down the guy who chops down all the trees, there's never going to be any old ones for them to increase their productivity from, which is not very useful and not a very good idea. So that's what we're going to do. Also, people said that I needed to not put down the school yet, which I really wanted to do, because apparently it increases the time between a child being born and them actually being able to work, which is obviously not very good. So we're going to hold off on that for a little bit until we're a bit bigger. Naughty. And we're also, yes, we're going to remove a lot of the stone from the forest, around the forester when we place it, and this will let the, uh, the forest become denser and obviously better for chopping down. So that's what we're going to do. That is the plan. So what we want to do is basically put down some of these things. So we can actually put down... Uh, where is it? We wanted to put down the Hunter's lo Lodge. Hunter's Cabin, even. In fact, did I already do that? No, I already did it. What am I on about? Right, okay, no, we've done that. <laughs> Helpful if I knew what I was doing. Forester Lodge. Yes, this is what we want. So I'm thinking we're going to put this over here. I know it seems like a bit of a random place, but my thought is that if there's a hunting cabin here, then obviously it'd help if there were forests so that animals could breed in them. I don't know if that is actually a feature, but I'm going to go with that because it makes sense to me. So we're going to put that over there. Gosh, there's a lot of space over here now. It doesn't look very nice, does it? But what we're going to do is we're going to put down some roads. I'm thinking I would like to start putting down some uh, cobble roads, but to be honest, it seems a bit of a a bit of an unnecessary expense at this point. So we're going to put this down here. Hopefully they'll make that fairly soon. They should do pretty damn quickly, actually. And it looks like... Are they building this? Yes, they are indeed. Oh, no, they're building the road. Right, never mind then. And we'll also put a little road going like so to connect to that one. Cool. Right, okay. We're getting places. So we've actually got quite a bit of wood. I don't know why I said we needed that, but... Mind you, we have just collected a shit ton of it, and all this rock here as well. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, that we perhaps need to have a little look at this. Uh, not this, uh, where is it? This one. Got two labourers that aren't doing anything. We could, I suppose... Yeah, alright, fine. Let's build the bloody uh, orchard then, shall we? Because I want an orchard at some point. So we're going to put the orchard down... 
over here. We'll make it moderately sized. I mean, we don't, we don't want it too big, because we're going to have lots of different kinds. Um, but aside from that, that should be fine for now. We can always expand it, can't we? And actually, let's have a little look. We can add the two labourers who haven't actually got jobs. Oh, never mind then. What is this? Oh, bloody hell. What is going on? Oh, we probably want to do it in here, actually, speaking of which, don't we? I would assume. Forester? Orchard? No? Alright then. Gatherer? Maybe we can only add them when when it's complete. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I thought this... Hang on, the number of citizens working at this location. What's this then? Total number of workers. Oh, I see. Right, okay, so we actually click this one. <laughs> That'll make it a lot easier. And we're going to grow apples because we don't have any choice. So there we go. So that'll take a while to start producing food, but it will eventually start doing that. Uh, hopefully as soon as those people get onto it, they'll start actually... Oh, the tavern's up! Nice! They'll start actually um, growing the trees, which would be very nice. And then we can add a path to that as well, which will look epic. These paths are done. The hunting cabin is working as well, which is actually pretty damn good. And this is about to go up. Damn, things are going quickly in this place. I'm thinking we might... If we add houses, I would assume that wouldn't actually increase the uh, number of people. Okay, inventory, alcohol limit, product, ale, but it requires apples. I see, right, okay. So we can't produce any ale until we have the apple orchard going, which is actually probably quite a good place for the apple orchard to be, when you think about it. So yeah, there we go. So that's the apple orchard there. I'm thinking we're going to add a path around that, just because it will look nice. <laughs> and... Then, aside from that, it should... I'm going to put it this way, though. It should allow them to walk quicker on it, because I think the pathway, how it works, is kind of like in towns. When civilians walk on the path, they walk faster. Which is brilliant. Now, I'm also going to make a little pathway around here. I know it's not necessary, but I kind of like the look of it. So there we are. Right, so we've got a well, so that should help if there's any fires as well. And aside from that, I think we could probably start... We've got a trade posts. We can put a hospital down. Or a town hall. A town hall would be very cool, actually. Or a chapel, a cemetery. Prevent citizens from becoming sad when the elders die. Sure, let's put the cemetery over here, shall we? It seems fairly apt, strangely, that the cemetery should perhaps be, like, right next to the hunter's cabin. I don't know if that's appropriate, but whatever. The dead can... The, the hunter can just grave dig all of the graves up and use the meat from there when they can't find any of the uh, the cattle out on the in the forest. The cattle in the forest? Yes, because that's where natural cows live, in a forest. Good job. Right, then aside from that, what's this? Reserve of food is low. Oh, damn, okay then. Uh, we probably then need to start building something else. Perhaps a pasture would be good. Let's put a pasture over this side. Pasture is too small. Yeah, I don't want to put it there. Right. So if we put this pasture... Hmm, it's not very big actually, is it? So that's the graveyard. Maybe we should put the pasture just like so. But then it sort of removes the point of having this thing there. Maybe I should just make this like the farming district here. Makes a lot of sense really, doesn't it? Okay, look. We'll put a pasture like this, right next to the orchard. It makes sense to me. And then aside from that, okay, reserve of food is low, oh dear god. And then aside from that, we're going to put down a path here to connect this up, as you'd expect. I want these apples to start producing, I want my ale. Come on. And what is this, a boarding house? Temporary place for the homeless to live. Hmm. Is there actually anyone working in this place? There is. Let's enable planting, enable cutting. Log limit 300. Actually, we'll keep it on the default. There's no point making it bigger than it needs to be. Okay, the graveyard is almost done. Uh, where are we with this? 0% yield, and that's not good. And this is almost complete as well. So what we can do is, I think we're going to start keeping sheep here. And I'll tell you what, it'd be nice, actually, if we could start 
Where is it? Tra Where's the bloody like blacksmith and stuff? All oh, right, the, the pasture's done. Uh, I think. How do we actually get cows? Number of citizens working at this location. Let's take one of these builders and put them on this. Are they just cows, like cattle walking through the field. Okay then. Well, I think actually, do we need to trade for some cows? Hmm, that might be a good idea. Okay, right, we haven't got many um, people around that can do these spare jobs. Actually, no, speaking of which, we do. I think we've just gained some more. So let's just have a little look at this again. Maybe not. I'm feeling like a bit of a noob this episode. No, we don't. So why are there two people with question marks? Because they're not actually building anything? Two of them are farmers. Don't even have farm, do we? Oh no, an orchard. Oh, I see, right, okay. Maybe we should only have one guy looking after the orchard. Makes a bit of sense to me, if I'm honest. We'll put another one on that, though. Yes. But, 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 before we do that... Actually, no, that was what I needed. What am I on about? Is it? No, it's not. Where the hell is the tanner and stuff? Am I just being an idiot? Oh, here it is. Okay, Taylor. Taylor! Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, the Wraith. I can sense them. Oh, really, Taylor? That's nice. Got any other lines for the rest of the series? Okay, so our tavern isn't even bloody doing anything. We haven't got a mine. What is going on here? Reserve of food. Reserve of logs. Right. Probably not helpful to add a Taylor, then, at this point. So I'm thinking... Maybe... Why have we not got logs? Is this guy actually not doing anything? Look, start cutting. Start cutting down, goddammit. I don't care about planting trees. You can do that later. But yeah, we, we seriously need some more food. How's this going? 0% yield, they're still growing. This has got bloody nothing in it. So I'm thinking what we need to do fairly ur urgently is add one of those um, water trading things. Water trading things. <laughs> <laughs> Still struggling to actually find the thing. A mine. Alright, look. Let's slow down the game speed slightly so I can actually deal with this. Now look, why am I being an idiot? Wooden bridge, tunnel. Market, trading post. Yes, this is what we want. Right, okay. So this trading post, I'm feeling... I'm feeling as though this needs to go here somewhere. In fact, we can place it right here. Why not? Okay, that'll give something for people to do. I think we can probably get away with building that. 82 logs, 80 stone, and what's that? 40, is that 40 iron? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we don't have any iron. Another problem, which means that we actually need to build a mine. That's where it all goes wrong, isn't it? Okay. Mine, or is it a quarry we want? No, I'd assume it's a mine. Okay, so a mine that we can probably place... ...about here? Mine cannot be placed in this location. Why can't it be placed? Does it need to be placed on a mountain? A mountainous region? Why can't we place this anywhere? Oh, god damn it. Okay, well this is a bit of a problem, isn't it? This is a bit odd. Like, why is it red at the back? It's probably something really obvious that I've missed, isn't it? Okay, well there's an obvious way to do things, and the way to do things is not building a tavern like at the <laughs> first given opportunity, which is fair enough than what I was expecting, really. Right, in terms of other food, what we could do in the meantime, I suppose, is build another fishing dock. I don't see why we couldn't, to be honest. Let's build another fishing dock. Okay, we'll put it there. I know it seems like a bit of a random place for it. What are we going to do in the meantime? Why are they building this? Oh, god damn it! It's a shame you can't make them not build certain things. We probably can, but I don't know what it, how to do it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now can we connect this road down here? 
No. Okay. So the only way to do this possibly is to do that. Right, okay. I think the best way is just to get some more fish. Because it's the quickest and easiest way to do it. I'm not sure why they're eating so much fish. Maybe it's because they've got a taste for it now. And they're like, oh my god, I can't go 30 minutes without eating fish. It's like an addiction, but a less interesting one. The cemetery's not even built. People are just, like, dying everywhere. Actually, I don't know if they are dying, to be honest. They're probably not. They might be, though. If, if I know Parky Stan, then they're probably dying. Oh, look, we didn't connect this bit of bridge up here, did we? How silly of me. There we go. Nice to have things all connected up properly. Now, have we got enough stuff? I don't think we do. Let's get rid of this and bring this up. Okay, yeah, we have no logs at all, so we need to get them to start harvesting some logs. Oh no, that's a forester lodge. We want this, like so, and we're going to get them to collect all of these ones, like so. Okay. And aside from that, we do need... I assume we need stone for this. Maybe not, so let's collect some stone anyway. We'll collect this stone here, and we'll also get them to collect some of this stone, because this is all in the way. It's going to be need to, it's need to be cleared at some point. God damn it. What's the point of it? Is this guy even doing anything, or do I need to start allocating more people? Oh yeah, look, up to four. If we just don't have many people working on it. Not very helpful. I think it's a bit weird. I'm starting to build too many things at once, I feel, because everything's at like 30% or so. It's because we haven't got enough resources. So I need to get them collecting shit again. they got loads of wood. Why aren't they doing it? Damn it. Lazy peasants. Lazy peasants, indeed. Okay, well, this seems like a good place to end it. If you've got some more suggestions, unfortunately we didn't actually progress a bit more this time. We're going to face a few problems along the way, obviously. And hopefully we're going to get over this problem of food shortage. In fact, we're looking okay now. We're not getting the warning, so I think we've kind of got away with it in the meantime. But if you've enjoyed the episode and want to see some more of this series, then please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. And particularly leave ratings and favourites, because that helps support my channel. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward.